Herobrine is the most famous legend in the whole of gaming. Everyone has seen or heard the word Herobrine before, giving players literal nightmares and making players shut off their own game. However, nobody knows who created Herobrine, or if he even exists. But today, after 14 years of Herobrine being a mystery, we have discovered the true story of Herobrine. So today we will look at the origins of Herobrine and looking back at the desolate, eerie environment and world that Minecraft used to be, also discovering the sad and scary truth behind Herobrine. Herobrine was first mentioned in an old creepy past on 4chan, where a player describes a strange experience in what seemed to be an innocent normal single player world. Everything was normal at first, but in the fog, he thought he saw the silhouette of a cow, but it was another player with soulless eyes and no name. He tried to follow the creature, but it was gone. The player continued on, but found even more strange things. 2x2 two two tunnels, sand pyramids, trees with no leaves. He went to Minecraft forum to see if anyone else has discovered these weird things, to where his post was deleted almost instantly from a user named Herobrine, telling him to stop. But this is where this discovery takes a sad turn. Herobrine was the name of Notch's dead brother. The Minecraft forum started to blow up with other photos, videos, claiming they saw this soulless creature while they were playing in their single player worlds, sending ripples of fear through the community. Players were scared to even touch Minecraft, so they don't have to encounter the entity. By this point, Notch and Mojang were familiar with the community's experiences. So in update 1.6.6, they said in the end of the patch notes, removed Herobrine. This will be a regular occurrence for every single update Minecraft has put out always saying removed Herobrine and even teasing messages on the homepage of Minecraft. From here on Herobrine just grows in popularity with hundreds of videos saying they saw Herobrine trying to show proof of this with hundreds of mods made from the community quickly become the most well-known entity in any game ever. Minecraft was supposed to be just a fun sandbox but many players started to feel scared and even when they were playing in a world with just themselves players had the feeling of someone watching them just how you feel when you walk in the woods by yourself. You feel like you are never really by yourself. Even before the first sighting of Herobrine, players claimed to see white eyes in the distance, stalking them from afar. On July 30th, 2010, Notch added a secret Minecraft update, adding music discs. First disc he added was Cats and Disc 13. While Cats was a nice, harmless song, Disc 13 was the sound of nightmares. Players would theorize about this disc, but Mojang and Notch never came out and said what the disc actually means, making it one of the biggest mysteries in Minecraft. With this new horrifying disc and players still having sightings of Herobrine, they would link the two together. Is this some secret message Notch is trying to tell us? If you put the sound of the disc through any audio software, it would start to make a face, a familiar face, that looks like Steve or Herobrine. Alongside the update for the new music discs they added, cave sounds, that you and me know way too well. Players were very confused and mostly scared to even start up Minecraft because of this new update. Old Minecraft just had an unsettling atmosphere. It was substantially darker than modern Minecraft. Textures are harsher, sound effects sound a little more distant, and caves are more cramped. Especially caving in the old version of Minecraft. Darkness is genuine darkness, and caves are definitely cramped. There is a lot more room for the unknown than there is in modern Minecraft. Obviously Minecraft has scarier things in the caves, or greater threats you could say, but you can actually see the mobs in the dark, and caves have opened up so much that it doesn't even scare yourself as much as they used to in the older versions. I think one of the main differences between old Minecraft and modern Minecraft in terms of horror and paranoia is that old Minecraft didn't have as many mobs that felt intelligent. There wasn't villagers, pillagers, piglins, there was nothing. Just you, in a vast empty world, where the smartest things was skeletons. In that desolate environment, the idea of something being there, something intelligent, watching you from the shadows, something left in the world watching you, like you're entering its territory without you even knowing, is terrifying. The truth of Herobrine. I have searched the internet looking through Reddit posts, the old Minecraft forum, and one of the most interesting things I found out about Herobrine was the fact that Notch acknowledged Herobrine's existence. There's actually a rare video dating back to 2010 of Notch confronting Herobrine head on. Uh, okay, um, <laughs> speaking of fan made works, are you aware of Herobrine, that um, rumor that's been going around of the Minecraft ghost? Yeah, that's him. Yeah. Him. Is that, yeah. is that actually something that you put in the game, or is it just a hoax? It's just a hoax. Unfortunately. Can I help? Oh, it is. Where is it?
The fact this video even exists is interesting. Even going back all this time to when everyone was talking about this entity doesn't give us a clear answer if Herobrine is real or not. You can think what you want about this tale. You can think all of this was made up in our young minds, just scaring ourselves, and all of these videos you see are fake and staged. Now, while that likely is the case, Herobrine definitely could have existed as well. It's hard to ignore all these stories that happen to the casual players. Not the players looking for some easy clicks, but the players like you and me, where we've experienced some weird stuff on the old Minecraft. For me, it was on the old Xbox 360. Remember seeing weird structures? holes and caves you swear you never digged before, maybe trees without leaves, which is impossible to spawn on world generation, or maybe just that feeling we all experience while playing Minecraft. Just imagine, it's late at night, you have your headphones on, playing in the dark, just minding and thinking about the resources you need to gather to build your home. And while you're mining, you can't help but feel uneasy. So you look around your room, and it's nothing but darkness. You try to ignore it, but this eerie feeling gives you shivers in the back of your neck. So you decide to go back up to the surface. It's starting to get dark. The fog is starting to really blur your vision. And while you're walking through the woods, you feel as if something is just observing you. But how can that be? It's a private server, right? Friends aren't able to join. It's not even multiplayer. So you look around just to see, well, nothing. But the longer you play, the more uneasy you feel. You start to see pixels in the distance, until eventually, while you're walking around, you see something staring along the tree line. It sends shivers from your head to your toes, making you pause and turn the game off for the night, while trying to sleep with one eye open. Surely it's not a coincidence how so many people have experienced the same scenario. So maybe after all these years, Herobrine has been in our worlds, watching you, you just haven't known it. The truth about Herobrine is those videos you've seen the past couple of years could definitely be fake, just for extra views. But the real mystery is why did Notch tease the fact Herobrine could be real? Why have they said in every patch note for the past 10 years saying, removed Herobrine? Why have so many of us experienced these weird moments in old Minecraft? Has it all just been in our minds? playing tricks on us all these years? Or has Herobrine not only been haunting our old worlds, but he's still here, to this day, watching, without us knowing? Could Herobrine be Notch's brother? All these questions can be answered, but the answer isn't up to me to decide. There is some proof out there, whether it's real or not, it's completely up to you. My question to you is, have you experienced any strange occurrences on your old Minecraft worlds? And do you think it's just been our minds after all this time? A fear of being watched embedded into our brains from all these crazy stories. Or is Herobrine actually real? It's unlikely he's real, but it isn't impossible. Thank you for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed, please subscribe, I'm trying to get to 1000 subscribers. Thank you for watching to the end, have a good night.